In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open up your assignment, complete the assignment, have the assignment marked, and then finally have the look at the feedback. And all my assignments, I allow students to upload them twice so they can upload them, they can get their feedback, they can see what they did wrong, they can correct their work and then submit it again, hopefully getting a perfect mark or nearly a perfect mark. So at the time of the recording, this is what I've, I've got here. It's the 24th of September and there's an assignment coming up on Sunday. So there's a, there's a word assignment, chapter one, that's due at that time, as it says here. And for students to open this, of course, they can click on just open here. And you receive a four step installation process. So download your materials. Now it's very important that when you download the materials that you download them under your own account. So if these materials are shared with other uh, students then um, th that would be an academic integrity violation. So whatever you do, use your own work, do your own download. This is very important. So at this point there are two files. You can download them together. You can download them uh, one at a time. So I'll just download this one here. This is the instructions that need to be uh, uh, completed. There they are. And let me go back to the, the screen there. And let's download the actual document file. So this is the student document file. So we'll download that. And we'll open it as well. So if you have a dual monitor, that always helps. Some students, I find, they do um, print their, um, their work as well. All right, so this is the, uh, the first assignment that you need to, to do. So this, they give you the sample file. This is a DOC file. This is the old DOC file, not a DOCX file because it has not been saved in the new format. So you'll need to do that. And from there, we can go back into our instructions. So there's the instructions. So the step one is to download and open up the file. That's the one we just did. And then step number two, it's important that you uh, follow this. And, and it says here that you want to uh, save it again um, and in the, in the new format, in the 2016 format. So save the files with the changes and put your last name and first name in there. So uh, in Word at the top, I'm going to say save as. All right, I'm going to get the right file open here. So this is the assignment. So I'm going to go file and go down to save as. And I'm going to save it as um, with the file name. And then I think I've got my uh, last name that I need to put on here at the end. So I'm just looking for, I think in yours might be a little bit different. So I think you're supposed to type it in with your last name and your first name like this and save it. Now it says here it's saving it as an old uh, document file. So it wants you to save it as the new document file with this one here. If it's not, then you definitely lose marks. And I'm going to save it in my um, folder. So I'll just pause this for a moment. All right, I was just putting it into my uh, correct folder there. All right, so it will ask you that you're going to save this in a newer format, and that's okay. You can remind you every time. I don't want to be reminded every time, so I'll just say okay. And now you will be saving this um, in the new format. Now, unfortunately, my, my video recording uh, doesn't show it, but at the top of my title bar, it does tell me the name of the file with my name and a DOCX file. All right, now I'm not going to complete the whole assignment um, as it's laid out in um, here because this is you guys now can go ahead and do that. So you'll notice here at step three, it wants you to check the document for spelling and grammar errors. Um, and it asks you to do a certain amount of things. And if you do that, you get nine possible marks for doing that. So you want to check to make sure you guys know how to do, um, do this type of thing and then carry on with the rest of these. Uh, now these will, these are reflected with the simulation. So if you complete the word chapter one simulation, it goes through all these learning objectives and shows you how to do these. So if you don't know how to do these steps, you will be able to do them in the simulation and you will be able to do them in the textbook. So there's lots of, uh, and I think there's also an audio uh, PowerPoint presentation to show them as well. So there's three ways to learn how to do each of these learning objectives. They're pretty quick. Once you go through it, it's, it's, it's rather fast. All right, now let's go back. Let's assume at the moment that you have completed your assignment. So we've downloaded, we've completed the assignment. It says work on the assignment. We did that and you can preview the steps involved. Now if you click on this one here, it's gonna go through the same uh, steps that we've been talking about. <clears throat> Things like the spell checker example. And from there we want to go in and upload the file. So now we have to find the file that we placed it and we need to install it here. So I'm going to uh, click on choose the file. 
All right, now it has to, I have to find that file, so I'm going to click on this one right here. That's my file. So this is a very important step because you want to make sure you upload the correct file. A lot of students, sometimes they upload the original file that they downloaded, and they don't install the one that they've been working on. Um, and they get, you know, no marks, and then they're confused with that. So definitely do that. So let's, uh, I'm going to upload that now. So 100% complete. And it was successful. That looks good. And then from here, I'm going to submit for grading. So once I click Submit for Grading, uh, kudos. The file's been submitted for grading, and I can close the assignment. All right. At this point, the file has been uh, marked, and it says I didn't pass. Well, that's probably because I didn't do the assignment. All I did was I saved it and in, with my name on it. Um, but what I want to do is get in there and find out what kind of uh, feedback that I got. So I go down here called View My Submission. All right, so once you click on view your submission, you see here I got submitted. It took me one minute of an hour. So all of the data that you do, by the way, gets logged and I can review it for auditing purposes. So th really, the, the, if you want to look at your feedback, you have to click on that red link right there. And what that will do is it'll open up your submission and give you a more detailed breakdown of your, uh, your feedback. So it says here that um, I, I got no marks here for checking my spelling. Well, that's obvious because I didn't do it. Now, if you want to break it down even further, you can click on this little pull down here. It'll say, well, you were given a couple of tasks here and you got zero out of that. So that's uh, 4.5 I could have got and 4.5, which makes up the total 9%. So if you want to know where you went wrong, you can simply go into these uh, red marks here and find out exactly where you went wrong. Uh, now, if you want a copy of that, you can download the, the live comment report. You can also download the submitted file and try it again. So I can download the submitted file, work on it, correct all those mistakes, and then re-upload it. So you have two chances. So I want to go through this and explain to you where you go to get your feedback for your, your assignments so that you can go back and make uh, find out what you did wrong and then correct it and then submit it for a higher mark. So I do that because I want students to actually learn what did they make their mistake because you know what you did right, but you, you usually don't know what you did wrong. This will give you the exact feedback and tell you what you did wrong. And you can go back in and say, ah, I forgot this particular one right here. I can go back into my assignment, correct that, and submit it again for an additional five marks, for example. All right, I hope that helps, and I'll see you guys at the next video.